Well, Pittsburgh and Kansas City have only met twice in the postseason, splitting both games. The last matchup was the 2016 divisional game that saw the Steelers ride the leg of Chris Boswell six field goals in an 18-16 win at Arrowhead. For more, let's send it back over to Bob with Coach's Keys to the Game, presented by your neighborhood Ford store. Guys. Coach, let's talk with uh, the keys to the game. Specifically, it's interesting how this low espionage game goes. I, I see the Chiefs brought in Matthew Sexton, who was with your team earlier. Melvin Ingram's there. Is that something that is beneficial to teams? We see it a lot. Does it actually result in anything? You know, I think it's be beneficial if you think it is. And so, you know, I don't know if it's beneficial to them. I know it's not something that we worry about at all, to be quite honest with you. Um, you know, we focus on the guys that are here and, and the putting together of this plan this week. Um, although we do have some guys that have been exposed to this, as you mentioned, um, none of those guys are a part of this this week. And so they're not abreast of the intimate details of what we're putting together in an effort to engineer victory this week. And I think that's what's important. Last time you were there, uh, started slowly. They got out to a big lead. And of course, turnovers help. Uh, I would imagine a fast start is important, especially with that crowd at Arrowhead. You know, it, certainly, um, you know, we, we better remain close. Um, it, it can't be the way it unfolded last time. And so whether you define it as a fast start for us offensively or a slow start for them offensively, uh, we better be within striking distance. If, if we're within striking distance, we have a chance to turn it into a ballroom brawl. And that's and that probably weighs in our, in our favor. I think we're built for that. We've been in a lot of those type of games. And to be quite honest with you, I think we're comfortable under those circumstances. How important is the inside linebacker game for your team? You've had some guys step up when others have been out. Uh, you know, Marcus Allen got in there, did a pretty good job, and others. How important, given this opponent, is that inside linebacking? You know, I don't know that it's any more important than, than any other position. Um, it's January ball. Um, there's nowhere to hide. Um, I love that. Um, we're going to need contributions from every man in the helmet, particularly those that are on the grass. Uh, positionally, um, I, I don't think there's anywhere to hide when you get on these stages, man. We need quality play and playmaking uh, from all three levels of defense, from all the positions on offense, and particularly uh, those on special teams. Your offensive line did a good job last week uh, protecting Ben Roethlisberger. The longer this goes, these, a lot of these guys are young, but I would imagine by now they have enough game experience where you can expect them to, to execute at the level you need to. You know, I, I, I agree with that. Um, but you also have to acknowledge that, that the playoff environment is a different one. Those that haven't been exposed to it, you can talk to them about it. Um, you can tee it up for them, uh, but they feel it when they're there. The level of intensity, not only in those that you compete against, but the environments, the atmosphere, um, really makes it challenging and different than what they've been exposed to to this point. I'm excited about living it with them. I'm excited about watching, you know, Dan Moore and and Najee and, and Muth and others uh, get a taste of that action and, and watching them perform within it.